How's it going? Look what showed up. Signature Solar sent over this Goodwee 11.4 kilowatt inverter for us to uh, put up against the Solus inverters, see how it performs. This is the GW11K4-ES-US20. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and LAN. And looks like it's made in Vietnam. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Hey. Looks like it might be bigger than the Solus. Let's see if we can get all this in here. All right. See if we can give the Solus a run for its money. Now these are about the same price as a Solus too. Just within a few dollars. Got a mounting template. kind of a mounting plate um, I don't want to pile too much stuff up here but accessory box Got a, maybe a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna. Ferrules. Different kinds of connectors here. And mounting hardware. say I like the packing on it. It's this uh, foam stuff here, not styrofoam. It's, it's a lot, a lot better packing material. Big old heat sink. Very nice looking unit. Got better styling than the Solus. Okay, so that antenna is for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There's one, S, uh, that's an SMA connector for both the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Interesting. Got the DC switch on the side here. AFCI got a port for 4G so that must be an option let's um let's 
Let's open the bottom, see what we got in there. Got a little weight to it. Bring you all in here. Well, I'll just bring the camera in. Give you a first hand look here. Got your PV inputs here. So it's got four PV inputs. Use 12 to 10 AWG on the PV. Battery use six AWG. And 6AWG on the AC inputs. Want you to use copper only. So what do we have in here? Looks like there might be... Okay, we've got a generator port. That's probably for the generator start, load center. Uh, upgrade software, it's down there, USB port. Got the LAN port. And 4G SIM card. <clears throat> There's no, is there? No, that's not populated. Um, got a USB port over here also. Doesn't say what that's for. Down here we've got ABD slash MPD, I don't know what that is. PAR1 and PAR2 must be your parallel ports. Have to look and see what that one's for. Got BMS enable, BMS 485, EMS, CAN 1, CAN 2, E-stop, dry in, and meter. I don't know if this comes with a meter. I didn't see a meter. I don't know what these terminals are here. It could be for, a bat for the battery also, if you don't use this input. Actually, let's um, let's take this cover off. It looks simple enough. See what's under there. All right. We also got the mid, which they call the automatic backup device. So, let's see what that looks like. 
Now the plan for the inverter is to use one of these LG batteries since they're on the uh, approved list. Mounting bracket. Let's see what kind of accessories we get here. Mounting screws. Set of keys, ferrules. Gotta say, I do like the styling of these. It's got a 200 amp main breaker. Inverter. It's a 63 amp breaker for the inverter. When there's two empty spaces, and this must be, that must be their meter. Let's open that up. Nice clean layout. Yeah, that, that is their meter. Got the CTs on here. A little diagram. Let's do a quick size comparison to the Solus. It looks like this is quite a bit longer. This is 34 inches. And the Solus is only 28 and a half inches. That's 19 wide. Same thing there, 19 inches. The depth with the heat sink on this is seven and a quarter. And over here we've got nine and a half. Well, that's with, that's with the mounting bracket. We've got eight and three quarters without the mounting bracket. Let's take a quick look at some of the pertinent technical data here. Nominal battery voltage, 300 volts. The battery voltage range is 80 to 495 volts. Startup voltage, 80 volts. Max continuous charging current and discharging current is the same at 50 amps. I think that's better than the Solus. I think the, I think the Solus is 40 or 45 amps. Max charging power watts. 11.4K, max discharge power is 11.97K. PV input, it will allow 17.1 kilowatts of PV. Max input voltage is 600. MPPT range is 50 to 550. Startup voltage is 60 volts. Huh, it's a little weird. MPPT voltage is lower than the startup voltage. Max input current is going to be 16 amps. Short circuit current is 23.4 amps. Number of MPPTs is 4. On the AC grid side, nominal output power 11.4 kilowatts, 240 volts. The output volt range is 211 to 264. Grid frequency, 50 or 60, selectable. Max current output to the grid is 47.5 amps. Same thing, oh, that's the EV charger. One I have doesn't have, have an EV charger built in. Total harmonic distortion, less than 3%. And then... On the backup port, we have 11,400 VA, max output apparent power with grid, 
And we're looking at 17,280 VA for 10 seconds. Max output current 47.5. Nominal output voltage 240, 120. Nominal, nominal frequency is 60 hertz. And the same THD, 3%, less than 3%. 97.6% efficiency. And you can read all the protections it has here. I won't go through them. General data, minus 31 to plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a pretty good range. Minus 35C to plus 60C. Uh, cooling method, natural convection, so there's no fans. Got the COM ports, RS-485 and CAN. And it's got all the safety certifications here. All right, guys, just a quick unboxing today. I got to see where I'm going to mount this thing. I'm working on a new mining location. Probably move most of the inverters over there. So I might just go ahead and mount it out there. I'll, I'll take you out there in the next video, show you what I'm doing. It's just a, a room in the barn that um, had a dirt floor. I'm, I'm putting a floor in it and then a divider wall. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the ventilation. But it should be a pretty good, pretty good location. I, I should be able to run uh, probably 24 ant miners out there. So I'm going to need all the power I can get. All right, that's about it for this one. I appreciate you. Until next time, adios.